ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Okay, you guys, we are gonna do a little updated version of the truth about cloth diapers. Now, if you don't have kids, I still think this is kind of an interesting video in case you ever decide to have them. Keep watching. So I did a video a while back on cloth diapering and like the truth about cloth diapers. And I kind of wanted to do a little update video on this because for one, I think it's informative in case anybody else is also going through these struggles. And two, in case any of you guys have any good advice for me, definitely leave it down below because I could use it. This is a thing. Cloth diapers are amazing. I think they're great for the environment. I think they are super fun. They have cute prints. There's all different types of diapers. So if you are having issues with like a budget, oh, it's snowy home. Travis and Snow just got home from a walk. But basically I had collected a bunch of diapers and I was so excited about them, but she started getting a rash, like a really bad rash. Come on in. My baby has such sensitive skin. This is her. Come here, Snow. Hi, gorgeous. Mommy's talking about you. I'm talking about your diapers. So in these diapers, she rarely ever gets a rash. It's very rare that she does. You wanna hang out with mama? Look, is this yours? So I collected all these really fun, cute diapers. And then when we had a garage sale, when we were moving, I think someone accidentally took them. And so all of our cloth diapers are gone. And I was really sad about it. One of the reasons we stopped was not just because <laughs> Whoa, what is this? So there were a few reasons why we stopped cloth diapering. One of those was because she was getting a terrible rash and we didn't know what, what was really causing it. We just figured it was the cloth diapers. So we stopped using them temporarily and then went and started using the disposables. And this is the only disposable diaper that she's been able to wear without getting rashes. Like she rarely gets a rash in these. They're just the Target brand ones. All the other ones gave her really bad rashes. So when we moved, we lost all of our diapers, our cloth diapers, but we also stopped cloth diapering for a short period of time because we were traveling a bunch in the RV and we didn't have washers there, like washer and dryer so we were just doing disposables then but now that we're in our house we started wanting to cloth diaper again and I wanted to give it another try I ended up going ahead and buying these Alva baby ones because they're super inexpensive on Amazon and so I started using them and I noticed right away that Snow got a terrible rash from these diapers. Now these are the pocket diapers and they're the ones with the microfiber inserts and they look like this she just like I said, was getting horrible rashes. So what I did was I went ahead and I bought, oh no, did it? I think Snow took it when she was over here. Is that yours? But they're like these little bamboo liners and you basically pull them off, you put them in the diaper like this and whenever they poop, you can like take this part out and then you just flush this down the toilet and it makes it really easy so you don't have to like spray the poop off or swish the poop off in the toilet like they used to do back in the day when it's done that peanut butter stage. I really liked these liners. They made it really convenient, but even with these bamboo liners, she was still getting really bad rashes. So I thought that maybe these would help <laughs> prevent the rashes because it was like a barrier between her and the cloth diaper, but it didn't work. So I asked on my Instagram, just like in the stories, like, hey, I really want a cloth diaper, but I'm having a really hard time because my daughter keeps getting rashes. What do I do? And someone recommended to cut up fleece like this. I just got it from Walmart and to put that as the liner and that could be a protective barrier. So we tried that and that was a fail. She still got a, like a horrible rash, like even worse with these fleece liners. Then I did some research. I'm like, I don't want to give up, but I thought, oh man, I think I need to give her just like natural fibers. So nothing synthetic. So hemp, cotton, bamboo. And I went online and the diapers with that, like with those materials were so expensive. Like the all in ones that were, you know, like this with that material. And so I was like, oh, sucks. I was really close to giving up because I was like, I don't want to keep spending money on diapers like the whole point is to save money and like be eco-friendly but if i keep buying all this stuff it's not very eco-friendly and i'm definitely not saving money so i did a little bit more research and then i discovered pre-folds and flats which i don't know how i did this whole cloth diaper journey but i never really looked into that they're the most budget friendly so they're the most inexpensive and i thought 
okay, that's cotton. You can also get, you know, more natural fibers like bamboo and hemp, I think. But I ended up ordering pre-folds and I'm hoping that I can put the pre-folds and just stick them on here so I don't have to buy covers. So I'm gonna try that next and see if that works because I really, really want it to work. I can just take the microfiber inserts out, use this as a cover and then put the pre-fold in here. And so I'm gonna try that next <laughs> and I'm praying to God it works. Cause if not, then I'm thinking maybe I need to get like covers and try that. But I don't even know if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know down in the comment section. If you guys cloth diaper or you know someone that does and you have any suggestions or advice for me, just because Snow is so, so sensitive. Like after a day of doing cloth diapers, she breaks out in a horrible rash. So then we put her back in the disposables and her rash goes away. It's really discouraging. I just feel so bad because I hate seeing her get rashes so much. I just want her to be comfortable. Oh, I also just want to mention that it's not the wipes because we use the same wipes. They're just the water wipes. And I really don't think it's our detergent that's causing it because if it was, I feel like she would have gotten rashes with the clothes that she wears because we use like all the free and clear detergent. So anyway, if you guys have any suggestions or advice, please leave it down below. Thank you so so much for watching this video. This is my truth about cloth diapers and I really just want them to work because I think they're really amazing. But recently she's just been getting terrible rashes. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and I hope to see you in my next video. Mwah!